Hello everybody, this is Rich Assist, but it's Matt Sphere, and I wanted to upload a video to teach you guys how you can possibly attempt self-levitation. Now the reason why I wanted to upload this video is because in 2015 I attempted to levitate the body. Um, I utilized certain techniques, uh, basic techniques that I uh, implied from my experience spinning side wheels and things like that, and they're very basic, uh, easy techniques a little bit of practice you can understand it and I'm gonna upload a video just to kinda of talk about how you could possibly do it now um, when I did it the reason why um, I have so much confidence is because my body reacted in such a way that was very strange because it it reacted to my intention of um, levitating my body trying to levitate the body the body reacted it, it never did this when 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 my intention was never focused on it like that so you know uh, there was something really happened there and I'm very confident that practicing this technique that I'm going to teach you will lead to something good. Now we're just going to watch a few clips here and I'll just narrate over it talking about my experience. It's a lady sleeping in bed and she levitates. Now the thing is though is that what happened in 2015 was I was uh, laying on the floor first of all like the like the tips is um, for me what I recommend is laying on the floor. Um, lay, lay flat on the floor and and be relaxed uh, I think I was eating something, and I recommend maybe they, uh, um, doing it with uh, with an empty stomach. What happened was was that uh, I just laid there and I focused on the body levitating, and I focused on the body being light and being very light like a feather, and just laying there and just visualizing and feeling. Not so much visualizing, but more of like feeling that the body is becoming lighter and lighter and lighter. And that your body is lifting up slowly, lifting up into the air, and that you feel that there's a the, the space between you and the floor is becoming bigger, and you're feeling it. And some visualization can be used, you know, just a little bit, but not too much to interrupt your focus. And it will take like 10 to 15 minutes, but just keep on doing it. So it'll work within. It should work within like a practicing of six months or a year. I believe it and just believing in it and with the experiences and the confidence that you have combined with this technique from uh, uh, the confidence that you develop from your psychonesis spinning side wheels and all that um, you can do this that all you need is just to uh, master the side wheel control it and believe that you're controlling it and by basic um, understanding of confidence of that you could combine it with the technique of just laying on the ground and it only took like 15 minutes for my body to react. Now, what happened was um, I was laying there flat on my back, feeling and just uh, feeling that my body is light and it's lifting up and that it was light like a feather and it was like a plastic bag just waiting to be blown away. And 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 I felt that the body was reacting, but it wasn't in a good way. But the thing is, though, is that... Uh, since um, I believe in science that as long as you get some results whether they're negative or positive you can you can um, dissect it and find out what's happening now here's another clip right here that's gonna show this person you guys have seen it now what happened was was that my stomach became bloated it reacted to my intention that I wanted to lift my body my intention of wanting to be light as a feather my intention to be light as a plastic bag and for it to float away within 10 or 15 minutes my body was reacting in a negative manner but it reacted nonetheless it reacted nonetheless that means that something was occurring my stomach became bloated and basically what that means what I believe was that the the um, uh, um, the best way um, um, to levitate is to have a good clean gut and to not smoke too much or drink alcohol too much and to uh, be, because your your gut is where there's the the ancients talk say that there's where the chi energy is stored that's where the battery is stored and all that and if you're just healthy if you focus your intention on um, because um, when I was focusing on my intention to to lift up what happened was my gut was the main source. I believe the reason why I reacted negatively was because that is the main, the the, the main source where levitation occurs. Just like the same thing as uh, hollow bones of a bird. You know the the birds pop up. Uh, they they probably like have uh, um, air sacs. I'm not too sure. Okay, I'm not too sure about the the anatomy of birds, but they have hollow bones and they pop up their air sacs in their body or whatever. And so the the stomach was becoming inflated and it was 
it was um, following my intention. It was trying to manifest my intention. My body was trying to make it real. So even though it was reacting negatively because I was unhealthy, nonetheless, it was reacting. That's all that mattered. And I believe that, this, that if you have a good, clean stomach, your chi energy, your body energy, your will, your intention, and your intuition, which you develop your intuition by practicing psychonesis and building confidence about your motion, believe in emotion, will help to make, force your body into making self-levitation a reality. Your body will bend at your will, and it will help you to levitate you. And your body needs to be clean and, and uh, well, relatively clean, not perfect, but relatively clean enough to where you still have will to make it happen. Remember, follow my tips and tricks. Lay on the ground flat or on the bed. Feel yourself levitating and lifting off slowly, slowly. Don't force it. Just feel it and let it gradually grow organically, and your body will react. It'll, it may, you may feel it within the gut too and it may take 15 minutes to start to feel it within your stomach and also practice outside uh, let the uh, practice outside in, in strong winds let yourself be blown around a little bit let yourself be familiarized with the air blowing around let it blow you go outside with strong gusts and then out while you're outside close your eyes and visualize yourself being light as a bag and that you're gonna be blown away by the air any moment that's a good practice that's a good way to practice also Spend 10 to 15 minutes practicing these things at least once a day or every other day and something will occur. This Rich Cespedes, Mad Cat Sphere, God bless. I believe in you.